Motor, of course, is bolted in. That's about it. Uh, nothing else is hooked up to the motor. It's the stock 12 valve VE pump, of course. Very strong running motor. Has somewhere in the neighborhood of 300 and probably 20, 325,000 on it, but it runs like a top. Really strong motor. This motor has taken me a lot of places. Bolted up to that, which you can barely see, is a NV5600. That one was completely rebuilt by a guy a couple hours away from me who does really good jobs doing the NV5600s and 4500s and ZF6s. So that is bolted in there, which you can... Uh, Don't mind that, that was just uh, my kayak falling off, but it is bolted in, like I was saying. Still needs a hole cut somewhere in the neighborhood of there, which hasn't been done yet. The dash I just ripped out, it's in right there. The carpet will be coming out. Uh, anything red in here will be coming out. Headliner will be coming out. I have most everything I need to put the gray dash back in here and then all gray interior. I do not have carpet. I'm gonna have to order some carpet and whatnot. So that's the interior plans. Gonna keep it mostly stock, bench seat probably, maybe buckets if I can find a decent set of gray ones. Um, yeah, I need to swap in my clutch pedal and brake pedal to get rid of the larger one for the automatic. So that's what's going on inside the cab. I have to order front fenders and inner fenders for the front. I will also be getting a second gen intercooler I got for it. So that should uh, help cool things down a little bit. The frame, as you can see, I had powder coated. And this was cut out for a stack that was there at one point in time. I also went ahead and painted the underside of the cab. So that looks pretty good. See the NV5600 sitting up in there. I still need to build a mount for it. So that'll be another video probably. Rear axle's bolted in. This is actually a Dana 80 with disc brakes. Came out of 01 truck, so it came with the disc brakes, which is super nice. Uh, disc brakes are definitely the way to go. At least on something like this. But the disc brakes are in terrible shape. So I need new pads and rotors for sure, possibly calipers. We're gonna go ahead and change the fluid in the diff and then repaint the whole axle. And then we also have to um, run brake lines for it. And that reminds me of another thing that I forgot to tell you guys is this will be uh, getting chucked out the window and we're gonna go with a hydro boost setup. So, uh, we won't use any of this actually. Now some people put a second gen hydro boost set up on here, which I have plenty of second gen parts to do that, but I'm not going to because that doesn't look very clean. You can actually do it with a Chevy uh, van, uh, hydro boost and master cylinder. So that's the route I'm gonna go there. Uh, what else? The springs are not stained, and also I need to go through the front axle and paint it and whatnot. But the springs are not stained. It will begin some sort of a lift, either four, possibly six inch, undecided. So there's a ton of work to do here, like a rid ridiculous amount. But I'm super glad that you know it's finally rolling and I can push it around and kind of see it more as a truck, which gets me uh, really motivated to work on it more. I'm gonna throw a flatbed on it, maybe a box if I can find one cheap enough and in decent shape, but most likely a flatbed on there. And then uh, probably gonna convert the front to a dually, dually hubs. I'm not, I'm just not a big fan of the single rear wheel hubs in the front and then dually in the back. I don't know. I, I still have to find some hubs, uh, dually hubs for that. So that's uh, another thing on the list of stuff to do. But I just wanted to show you guys where we're at with the project. It's been a long time. I did not forget about it. Uh, just, you know, life and other projects and 
everything going on takes up all your time and you can't really invest it all you know in one thing or you can't invest all your money into it but it's been a long time collecting parts you know and whatnot to get to this point and i'm just thrilled to see it here so that's where we're at we're probably gonna finish up the interior or at least swap everything we have over into here and then uh, slap the doors on it and then I'll order some front end parts and springs and lift and tires and wheels and about a million other things but uh it'll get there slowly but surely um, if you want to see more videos of this truck and me building it let me know if you want to uh, you know see more of it probably the best way to do it is subscribe and uh, I'll be sure to get more videos of this soon so that being said I'll, I will post post another video on the other truck the 24 valve dually and let you know what's going on or happened there and uh, yeah I'll keep you guys updated and posted and uh, should be a pretty fun truck to build I'm super excited like I, I can't say enough how excited I am to see this truck done uh, before I tore this truck apart, I drove it all over, driven it to Michigan several times, uh, drove it out to South Dakota. I actually drove this truck with the old body on it and the old cab to get this cab, and that was a fun trip. So, lots of memories with it, and I'm super excited for it to be a dually, and yeah, I, I'm just, I'm just super excited. I can't say it enough. But anyways, guys, this is getting long. I'm kind of rambling on and on, so... Uh, stay tuned, uh, keep your eyes open because we will be doing a lot of stuff to this uh, in the near future. So thanks for watching guys and uh, hope you enjoyed this video.